Hello, welcome in this video about how I made 30 million silver profit on crafting without using focus. This won't be guide about how to make money because the profit isn't calculated. It's more like gambling, but you will see what do I mean. But first, I would like to invite you to my Discord server where you can find many money-making methods and guides which will help you make silver in Albion. With that being said, let's get to the point. 8.3 Masterpiece Elder's Maze is worth around 28 million silver at the moment, so I decided to try my luck and hit 8.0 Masterpiece Elder's Maze from crafting. I have bought all the materials that I need. I decided to buy materials for 40 maces, journals and 6.3 Kraken Salad to increase my chance of getting better quality. Cost of all ingredients was about 90 million silver and as you can see, I got lucky and I have crafted one masterpiece 8.0 maze, which is worth around 70 million silver. So full cost of everything I got is 25 million. I made 6 million profit on this craft. One week ago I tried my luck too. I have both materials for 20 maces, everything was worth about 10 million and I have crafted two 8.0 Elder's maces in masterpiece quality. Unfortunately I haven't recorded that, but I have got screenshots of uh, market alley. On this craft, which was one week ago, I made about 27 million profit. Because each 8.0 masterpiece Elder's mace is worth around 70 million silver. I wouldn't recommend you to do the same, because it's more like gambling than calculated profit. So total profit from these two crafts was about 30 million silver, after deducting market taxes, foods and others. You can try your luck uh, with using focus, but you will probably lose some silver on this craft even with using focus if you won't hit masterpiece. To have enough big chance of getting masterpiece you need to have 100 specialization in the weapon you are going to craft, so this will increase your chance a lot. Always remember to have journals with you to make more silver and if you want to have even higher chance of getting better quality items, use usual master salad or kraken salad. Now we are probably wondering how did I sell this maze and make profit on it. That's pretty simple. I just have both 144 uh, tier 8 runes, souls and relics to enchant this 8.0 masterpiece maze to sell this at usual market. Of course you can try to sell this maze at some discord servers where people are looking for maces like that but on usual market, uh, for example in Martlock, it should take like uh, one day maximum to, for the maze to, to get sold.
there is more items that you can try to craft uh, for getting masterpieces to, to get some nice profits. Uh, those, are the, um, those items are, for example, holy stuff. This item in 8.0 masterpiece is is quite expensive. It's, as you can see, it's six million. Uh, it even sells for seven, even seven and a half. So we can try to craft uh, this item. But if you want to craft uh, this holy stuff, you need to do this in Fort Sterling because in Fort Sterling you got. Uh, crafting bonus for holy stuffs. So if you want to craft some holy stuffs without focus, uh, you need to do this in in Fort Sterling. Uh, another item that will be very expensive in 8.0 masterpiece will be one handed dagger. It's again seven million. Uh, if you want to craft dagger, you need to do this in. Let me see. It will be probably maybe in Bridgewood. Yes, you need to craft the daggers in Bridgewood because there you have your crafting bonuses. Uh, another item that is very expensive in 8.0 is crossbow. 100 crossbow. It's six and a half million. Uh, you need to craft. If you want to craft crossbows, you need to do this in in Bridgewatch too, because in Bridgewatch you got uh, crafting bonuses for for crossbows. And I think that's all items that you can try to get in 8.0 masterpiece to make some silver. But remember that it's uh, high risk, high reward. So uh, you can make a lot of silver like me if you are lucky enough but you can lose everything you got too so have that in mind that it's more like gambling than crafting uh, with calculated profits that's all in this video i hope you enjoyed that and learned some useful informations about crafting that you will use to make some nice profits don't forget to check out my discord for more money making methods if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe and like the video for more like that. That's all, see you in the next one.